Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, here's kind of a GCSE question. You may get this four kind of questions here, which I've said two marks each. You would probably have one of these in an exam paper, or you may have one in a multiple choice part of the exam. So you, you probably wouldn't get all four of these together, but you would certainly get one of these in an exam paper, quite a common. And this is on the properties of metals. So um, write a sentence describing the property of each of these metals. Um, and the, the, the properties are ductile, malleable, hardness, and toughness. Now th this is something you absolutely need to know and it's also, I've, I've done some little logos there because I think it, it's people get them confused and they get them muddled up. So let's go through this. So ductile, okay? So if we look at ductile is the ability, let's just write it out first, the ability of a material, I should say metal I suppose, to deform usually by stretching um, along its length. And we can add, can be pulled into wire. So you can see there my little logo, it says the sort of pulling thing. Now if, if we look at this, we've got some copper wire here, and we can see here there's the conductor, there's insulator on the outside, and this conductor is fine strands of copper wire. And these are actually created by pulling, uh, grabbing two pieces of copper, or sorry, grabbing a piece of copper into kind of, uh, things and, and, and pulling it, stretching it, and that, that's that's how wire is created, and that is because copper is ductile. It allows that to happen. Now the next one, malleable, and we can see here from the logo I've got pushing in rather than pulling out. So malleable is the ability of a material. to permanently deform and this is in all directions without cracking. So malleability is the, the ability to be bent and formed. So if we look at this um, steel, call it a tin can because it's tin, tin plated, but it's a steel can, and this has been rolled and formed, and you can see these ridges that have been formed in it, and they can do that because this is, this is made from steel, thin steel, which is malleable, it can be shaped. If we look at another steel object here, which is a clamp, and we can see the body of this clamp has been pressed so it's been shaped and again ridges put in there and that this was stamped and pressed from one piece of sheet steel so that's because steel is malleable okay the next one hardness so hardness is um, the now hardness I think is easier the, the ductile and malleability malleable people get them confused but hardness is the ability of a material um, to resist wear, indentation, um, and scratching. So for that one, I've got little gears. So something that can rub against something else and not wear out. So here, we've got a drill bit. Now this drill bit is made from, if we look on the box here, it actually says um, high speed steel and titanium. So this is a high speed steel bit drill bit. So the high speed steel is very tough. It resists wear. And then to make it a better drill bit, they've coated it with titanium, which is even tougher. 
So that gives us this um, hard material. It's a hard material with an even harder coating. So this drill can drill into, say, mild steel and not wear out. So that is toughness. Uh, sorry, hardness. You see, I'm getting confused there. That is hardness. As I say, this, this is what I think people do, and it, it's very easy to do, is mix up ductile and malleable, and mix up hardness and toughness. So we get to toughness now. So that was hardness. Okay, hardness is the, the characteristic of a material. We can put metal, because we're doing metals. Um, that it will not um, break or shatter if given a sudden blow or shock. Okay, so that, that for that, I've given the little hammer. So as I say, I've tried to create these to make it easy to remember. And if we look at this G-clamp here, this G-clamp's made from cast iron. Now, most grades of cast iron are tough in the fact that if I hit this or we're doing it up tight and it puts a load on it, it won't crack. So we can, you know, this can be dropped, it can be knocked, it can be tightened up, and generally it won't crack. So that is cast iron which is tough. So there we've got it. As I say, this is quite a tricky thing and it does come up in the exam. So we've got ductile, which has been able to be pulled and stretched. We've got malleable, which is be able to be formed and shaped. We've got hardness, which re resists wear. And then we've got toughness, which resists impact. So there it is. There's those um, properties of metals, okay? Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.